Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is our year in the villages. Happy New Year's to everybody. We have so much to say. I'm going to have to read some of it. I just can't, <laughs> can't remember it all. As we look back on our first year in the villages, we wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Mm. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Yes. We are so grateful for all the fun we've had and the wonderful people we've met along the way. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. The first time we had the champagne was in Temecula, California, probably around 1996. It's almond champagne. Mm -hmm. And we found that Trader Joe's is the only place on the East Coast that we know that carries this. Yeah. We love this stuff. Yes, we do. It's a New Year's tradition for us for 30 years, practically. Looking back with hindsight, mm -hmm. Where have our perspectives changed the most? Well, I'd say when we were first looking at the villages, we were looking at all the activities and mm -hmm. the lifestyle and, ooh, we can do, 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 and go, mm -hmm. go, go. And that's not how we envisioned retirement was going to be. But it looked like a whole lot of fun. But that's not where we are today. Mm -mm. That's not how we feel any longer. Mm -mm. Now, where are we? Well, we're still having fun, oh. but it's with friends. We've made some amazing connections that we are just so grateful to have. And our plans now circle around the people that we've met and the opportunities that, and the experiences we can create with those people. So instead of saying, what are we gonna do today, honey? Now it's, who are we going to do something with today? Mm -hmm. I think that, that you'll find as we go through this video, it's going to be a lot more people-centric mm -hmm. than activity-centric. Yeah. Now for me, the number one place where I feel like <laughs> I have changed my perspective the most is on golf carts. Now slow down. I love my golf cart. Don't get me wrong. But it, it's kind of like when you buy a brand new car. That first day that you own that car, oh my God, you don't want to get out of it. You want to, let's go on a road trip, honey. I got a brand new car. Let's go put the top down. Woo! But now the golf cart has become just part of our normal mode of transportation. And it really doesn't feel like Mr. Toad's wild ride any longer. Mm -hmm. Felt like getting in a ride at Disneyland every time we were going out. Mm -hmm. It was still well, a lot of fun, still is. When you were thinking about all this new stuff here in the villages that we hadn't experienced before mm -hmm. and you add this golf cart in there, it, it, it's kind of magical. Mm -hmm. Well, now we've been here a year and, and we love being here, but now it's more normal. Mm -hmm. Speaking of more normal and more normal and getting into a routine. Yeah. So shopping was something we had to incorporate. I mean, you have to shop. Grocery shop. You have to do some other shopping sometimes too. But we had to figure out how. How are we going to do this? So we are near a Publix, but that's not normally how we shop. We shop. That's for emergencies only. We, we, we're budget shoppers. We like to get a great price and we'll make our choices based on that. And our original intention was to adapt our, our shopping needs to what's available to us here. Maybe we won't make the journeys to, to get to Costco and to Trader Joe's. But you've been going once a month. Yeah. Certain things like almond champagne that's been a 30 year tradition and, mm -hmm. and the meats that we've become accustomed to getting. And that leads me to the next subject. But I'm going to kind of tie it in here because I don't want to go to Orlando because I don't like the traffic. I don't like the crowds. The villages feels like a small town. So if you need that Costco, okay, then you got the big city for that. Yeah. 
But for me, I'm enjoying the small town aspect. Uh, we're driving around a golf cart and it, it's it, with no stoplights and mm -hmm. things like that. It's, it feels like a one stoplight town. <laughs> right. But I have decided that I, I'm willing to deal with the fact that I got to go to Walmart, not Costco. Mm -hmm. Karen has decided she, at least at this time, is willing to brave the turnpike mm -hmm. and the big city because she wants her Costco meat. Yeah. And she wants her Trader Joe's uh, soap and almond champagne. And dog treats. Dog treats, yeah. Jerky and there's just certain things. So that's become our routine now. Anything else that's changed? Well, your perspective has changed. Yeah, we came into the villages saying, okay, so we're still gonna work, that's all right. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll find ways to, to do all these wonderful activities and all these things that we wanna do and, and incorporate them into our eight to five routine. And turns out that that's not quite as easy as we had thought it was going to be. And that's okay. I mean, we've, we've had to adjust our expectations, so I can't do everything I wanted to do right now. But we found plenty of things that we can do that do fit around our work schedule. When we got here, all we could do was dream about all these different things. And we hoped that over time, we'd figure out how to fit them all in. But since our perspective has changed from things to do to people to be with, and we have found some people we just love. Mm -hmm. We just love, they're our family. Uh, we've resigned ourselves to the fact that we're not gonna be able to do all those things. Right. And we don't feel like we're losing out mm -hmm. at all. No. And I, th I think back at six months ago in, in our two month uh, review, I was feeling like I was missing out on a lot of stuff. And I was still trying to figure out how to fit them all in. But I'm not trying to fit them all in anymore. But it's choices. We went into this with our eyes open. Mm -hmm. We had choices to make. We made them. And we're living with them. And it's not a bad life at all. So I was, I was thinking that... I just mentioned our, our older videos, our two month and our six month anniversary. There are some other things that when I was reviewing those videos, I said, maybe we didn't, we didn't understand what our reality was. Uh, as an example, when we made the move, it just felt at that moment so simple and easy for me. But looking back, it really wasn't as simple no, as was... we made it sound in those videos. And it really wasn't as simple as it felt to me at the time. Yeah, it was, it was pretty complicated and we had a lot happening. And I was flying back and forth to California and Nevada because my mom's health was failing and, and she's since passed and we're coming up on the anniversary of that. Mm -hmm. And that was a... I mean, when you're busy and you're just doing things, you do what you have to do. But there was a lot happening. I mean, right as we're driving out of town, our, our kids are having health issues. And it's like, oh my gosh, have we made a mistake? Or what are we doing? I mean, we're... <sighs> so it wasn't as easy as we made it sound. And I thought it was important for us to make sure that we said it out loud, that life intrudes. Yeah. Well, we, we knew we were moving away from family and that's our, our kids, we miss them. And we're missing them sometimes more and more. Uh, especially Christmas time. Mm -hmm. We were really hoping we could work something out. We'll work it out. That I, that I have confidence, it'll, it'll be worked out. Mm -hmm. 
Now, getting off those things, back onto happier topics. What do you absolutely love about your year in the villages the most? I think one of the best decisions we made, and we had to go back and forth a lot doing this, mm -hmm. but one of the best decisions we made was to move into a brand new neighborhood and a brand new house, moving in with everybody else at the same time and establishing those connections and building those friendships all with the same level of excitement. No, no doubt that was an awesome, awesome choice for us. By moving into a brand new village, mm -hmm. Everybody, the introverts, the extroverts, everybody was reaching out to one another. It's been wonderful. The other thing that has been truly amazing to me, people here in the villages, 80 years old and playing golf and playing tennis and pickleball and riding bikes and... It's just an amazing vibrancy in life here. And, and I think it's awesome. It's so it's fun amazing. to watch. And, and, and people come here and it looks like they're getting younger. And <laughs> Whereas my perspective about senior citizens was they were preparing for end of life. That was the phase they were in. It, it feels like everybody here, they're in their new phase of enjoying well, this part of their lives. They're here like never before. Living out their best, best life. Yeah. That question came from one of our viewers. Mm -hmm. And he also asked, what would you change if you could? And that was a great question. We really thought long and hard of that, trying to come up with an answer. And we have it. You know what we could change? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but it's because we did so much homework before we made this move. Yeah. I watched every YouTube video. I think Jerry and Linda may have had a hundred videos by the time I located them. And I went back in time and I watched every single one of them. And I tracked down every YouTuber and I watched every video they had. We read and read and read. We watched and watched and watched. Mm -hmm. Then we came here for our lifestyle preview and we changed our mind. <laughs> <laughs> then as new villages were being created, while we were back in Texas after our lifestyle preview, we then started changing our minds again. Mm -hmm. But by the time we made that final decision, we knew what we wanted. Right. Well, we, we knew we were coming here. Mm -hmm. We knew when we were coming here, sooner versus later. Mm -hmm. It was just, okay, timing. The fact is, we have the perfect home for us. Mm -hmm in the perfect village for us, mm -hmm. with the perfect people Absolutely. for us. <laughs> Funny how that works. Happy New Year's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, some other viewers gave us some l list ideas. And so we decided we're going to do a top five things we wish we had done sooner. Top five things we're glad we didn't do. And top five things we still haven't done. And since I set them in that order, let's just do them in that order. Good plan. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. <laughs> All right. So top five things we wish we had done sooner. I'm going to start. Okay. So number five is we always thought that we would join one of these clubs that played the, the game of cards we like to play hand and foot. Mm -hmm. and we never 
could figure out how to get it done in uh, on the, the 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 schedule that we have because of our work. Yeah, we think it be simple. We go to one of the recreation centers. We join a group. It, pick a time, pick the game. Didn't quite work with our schedule it the way we'd hoped. It doesn't work like that. And again, as we've been talking about, it has become less about joining the club, less about doing the activities, and more about the people that we're meeting. Mm -hmm. And so we met someone, we met a couple, that likes to play the game. And so we're inviting them over to play yeah. our game with us. So now it's about the people and not the activity. Right. We've created the opportunity instead of went looking for it. Okay. So number four thing we wish we had done sooner. We have been looking for a tool to help us on some trips we had coming up. We wanted to film the manatees, mm -hmm. and we had the bioluminescent mm -hmm. bay, and we went looking sooner than we had originally thought for the GoPro camera. Best thing we could have done. Amazing tool. Never would have captured the, the manatee oh, no, munching never. on the grass at the bottom of the Silver Springs. No. So it captured all that unbelievable bioluminescent footage and that experience. And then we finally use it all the time. Yeah, it's so light, it's so durable. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. Mm -hmm. It fits in your pocket. Yeah. The other thing though that I wish we had bought sooner were these wireless mm -hmm. microphones. And the reason is from the day we got off the boat here in the villages, we have wanted to do golf cart tours. And especially when we first got here, when we were brand new and everything we saw was new. We were going everywhere all the time. Right. Uh, but we found that every camera that we had, every microphone that we had, you couldn't hear us. The, the, the sound of the golf cart just washed out the, our voices. Mm -hmm. It was just the, the, that that gasoline engine was just too loud in yeah. those microphones. Yeah. And what we found out uh, when we did the uh, the Christmas golf cart parades is that these new mics are perfect. Mm -hmm. And now we want to go out and do those. I just wish we could have done them when we were new. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I wish that first week we were here, I think we would have said things in those videos that we aren't going to say today. So that's what, uh, one of the things I wish we would have done sooner. The number three thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one again, honey, is I know I've mentioned this in other videos where, no, I don't need a Bluetooth speaker in our golf cart. And that was one of the popular upgrades that Bobby, uh, Billy had, had told us about. But no, I don't need that. Because I never thought owning a golf cart would be anything other than absolutely magical. I didn't think it would ever feel normal. Now it's just normal. It's like taking your car out. I'm going grocery shopping and I want to listen to music on the way. Oh, sometimes so, I kind of feel like we're going for another Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> sometimes. I think she's talking about my driving. I'm not sure. I'll let you talk about that in the comments below. You, you ladies can have a conversation about that. But uh, I did get a little a little Sony Bluetooth speaker that I can stick up in the shelf and it makes my drive, my hour long trip to Walmart to mm -hmm. go grocery shopping, just a little bit more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how the people around me feel about it, <laughs> but so. And it makes the journey to the pitch and putt, which is our newest favorite mm -hmm. thing that we wish we'd done sooner that much more fun. So is that number two, pitch and putt? Number two is we wish we'd gone to the pitch and putt sooner. We've been going to the putt and play, figured that was our level because we are not experienced golfers. Nope. But I think we thought that it required us to be more talented than we yeah. are in the game. It's been terrific. Yeah. I wish we had done that sooner, but... Now we know. Now we know. The number one thing, the number one thing I wish we had done sooner, I wish 
we had bought it back in, let's say, June, when just when things were starting to warm up here, was a golf cart screen, a windshield screen. You drop the windshield down, you put the screen in, and now you have all this airflow. I just didn't think with having no doors, we could possibly get more airflow. It's good. It, it is great. There's a guy named Wayne, mm -hmm. and he's at, he's always at the market nights. Mm -hmm. uh, and what a tremendous product that he makes. Cheap, go get it. It's you will so worth it. You will not be disappointed in yeah. it. Yeah. Sooner versus later would be our Sooner recommendation. Sooner versus later, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we come to top five things we're glad we didn't do. Guess what? We only got mm -hmm. three. <laughs> we couldn't come up with five. <laughs> so our number three thing we're glad we didn't do. Would be buy an RV yet. So we really want an RV. Uh, it would really help us to go and see our kids mm -hmm. and spend extended time and, and be with them. Uh, we could bring our boys mm -hmm. with us. And I think that really hit home on our cruise where we almost lost our boys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't trust anybody as much as we trust ourselves. Yeah. But plus, we the, miss them when we're gone. It's now very we won't true. Have to. But the timing just isn't right. No, market is crazy on RVs. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to turn just a little bit more. I yeah. think we have a plan for retirement, and as much as we get so excited about owning an RV. And ha having one again and knowing what that lifestyle is for us. I mean, in a place where there's all new things to explore and discover. We want to travel all around mm -hmm. the state. We want to go down to the Keys. We want to go to St. Augustine. We want to go to Destin. Mm -hmm. And having an RV would make those adventures a lot easier for mm -hmm. us. But the timing just isn't right. No. Had we bought one right now or during this past year, and we've thought about it over and over again. There are prior videos where we talked about going RV shopping. Had we done it, it would have gotten in the way of our retirement plans mm -hmm. because we would have tens of thousands of dollars we have to pay back. And we would have overpaid. So it's just not the right time. And we're working full time. We really can't use it the way we'd like to. So that was number three. Mm -hmm. The number two thing we're glad we didn't do. Buy but, a lot <laughs> and build a home on it. I thought, oh, are we going to be those villagers that move three or four times while they're here? I don't know. If I was a different person, Karen may have done it. Well, I think it was an emotional thing. When I, when I saw a lot come up on the street that it bears the same name as our daughter, I thought maybe that's the legacy we want to leave for them is a, is a house built on the street named by our daughter. <laughs> well, But it's complicated, it's expensive. We're happy where we are. It would be a tremendous investment. Uh, our home here has already increased in a crazy year like this with high interest rates and people having problems selling their homes all across the country. Our Not property our, our property has gone up approximately 25% over the past year. So buying something else and let's just say on a view lot in Newell five years from today, that's quite a little nest egg you've yeah. got for yourself. Could help. The problem is... Stressful trying to juggle all that. Maintaining the expense while you go through that process and... And then we have to rent a house. So we, we'd ha we would have to rent this one and move into the other one. That's Yukon. <laughs> Saying hello. It would have been a complicated process. Yeah. And we don't really want compl complications at this stage of the game. 
So the number one thing we're glad we didn't do, we had talked about this back in Texas. I thought I had to do it, had to absolutely well, do this. The, I didn't feel as if I could live here in Florida if we didn't do this. So it was always in our plans. And I figured our, our lifestyle just wouldn't work unless we did this. And, and that was to enclose the lanai, that we needed that space for two home offices because we both might be working from home. Turns out I'm not. We I wanted another air conditioned space. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I could sit on that lanai in the summertime when the humidity is whatever it is. Uh, we're in Florida, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Well, let's talk about that. I mean, this, this guy used to complain, com <laughs> complain daily about the heat and the humidity in Austin, Texas. And it turns out that- It was just Austin, Texas. It was a mind frame. And the mind frame here is-, is Just so happy to be happy here. Happy to be here, light, enjoying everything. Some of the things that you used to think were important just aren't important anymore. And that adjustment to the heat and the humidity was actually really easy. Yep. So top five things we're glad we didn't do. Yeah, glad we, we didn't enclose it because we love sitting out there. Love more air. Yeah, it's wonderful. Okay, so now we're up to top five things we still haven't done yet. Ah. So number five, the sharing. Mm, haven't been to the sharing yet. We almost went there on our lifestyle visit, but we decided we wanted to explore more and didn't want to take time out for a performance when there was nothing that we were really all interested but that, in. At that's the, time. the thing. You know, it's a timing thing, and what do you want to go see? And the show that was playing there at that moment, it just didn't float our boat. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, they've had a couple of concerts I would have enjoyed going to, mm -hmm. but I, not enough to pay $125 a ticket. So I'm waiting for something I really want to do, something special for us. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be worthwhile. I, I don't mind spending the money as long as we're spending on something we really right. want to do. Right. Uh, number four thing, number four, here we go. <laughs> Let me put it over here, four. There's a new seafood restaurant in Spanish Springs that we're hearing some good things about and we like to have choices when we want to go out because we don't go out very often and we want it to be good when we go. And we're hearing some good things about this seafood restaurant and we might just have to go check it out soon. So uh, maybe we'll start becoming the, uh, the, the restaurant review channel. Probably we'll, we'll... not. <laughs> <laughs> Number three thing that we've talked about over and over again and we still haven't got there and it's right mm. down the street. Archery. I love archery. I was into archery when I was in high school and I've always thought that's just so cool. And they have it right here and I was all excited to see all these targets lined up and people out enjoying it and we just haven't been able to do it yet. Nope. But we'll get there. Yeah. Number two thing we haven't mm. done, and I can't even believe we haven't done it. This is like, I've been dreaming of going to this place. Just, I'm, well, based on our food plan, I've been having nightmares. <laughs> Mystic mm. ice cream. I understand they have alcohol flavored mm -hmm. ice creams. Alcohol flavored ice creams. They have karaoke night. Yeah, they have I love a, karaoke. Amazing creative musician for an owner who likes to get out and perform for the customers. It just sounds like a fun, neat. We've place. been here for a year and we still haven't gone. And I knew about this place before we even moved here. I want to go, but I want to go when it warms up. Yeah. Okay. Number one thing that we still haven't done. That makes no sense we haven't done it. You go it, buy it every week. Well, it was so interesting. <laughs> we, we we saw that place on our preview visit and Texted said, hey. Texted it to our kids. Look, look. Look, we gotta go. The Sarasota driving range. How, did, how have we not been there? Seems like it's always full. A lot of people wanna do the same thing, but for whatever the reason is, we just haven't done it yet. Well. But we will. To be honest, I really didn't think I was gonna like golf. 
I had no idea I was gonna enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it. So those things will make a nice start to the coming year. Yeah. Maybe a couple, couple of golf cart tours mm -hmm. as soon as we get our GoPro back. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's not the activities we'll be doing this year that's gonna be the most important thing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the people that we'll be meeting. Yeah. And with that being said, more than anything, I'm, I'm back to reading again. You're gonna have to forgive me, it's just so much. More than anything, we wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. We wanted to thank you so much. We wanted to thank you for showing up here every week and sharing our lives with us. Since we're reminiscing about being here for a year, and you need to watch that video. That's how did we get, how did we end up in the villages? But in the meantime, here's to a wonderful 2023. Mwah.